morning. Join me today, come with me. Today we're gonna to clean an isomatic ice machine. It's one of the gem units, little nuggets. People come to these restaurants specifically just for this ice, and we wanna make sure it's clean. Let's go. Here we are at the ice machine now. I've got the cover off, took the filter off. We've got this water reservoir here. We're going to drain this reservoir, disassemble the ice machine, get it ready for cleaning. Uh, when you drain this reservoir, you want to make sure you check the water filter. Water filter generally should be replaced every six months. The manufacturer recommends we clean these ice machines every six months. So every time you do an ice machine cleaning, you should change the water filter. So this water filter is in the back. I'm gonna shut the water off over here. The water filter will have a part number on it, so make sure you use the same water filter that is there. The manufacturer has a recommendation, and hopefully when the ice machine was installed, the, they used the recommended water filter. Uh, according to the manufacturer, they want one gallon of water to pass through this system, and you have to use Nickel safe ice machine cleaner. They, they actually recommend this one in the uh, in their, their videos. So they said follow the direction on the back. This says mix three fluid ounces of ice machine cleaner per gallon. So we're going to put three fluid ounces on the side here. It has indicator lines. Each graduation is three ounces. So <clears throat> right now I'm like right in the middle of the two. So I'm going to pour that much in. ounces for one gallon. I'm going to mix this up and pour it into a separate pitcher to make it easier to pour into this reservoir. And then we fill this reservoir up. Uh, in the process of doing this we do want to make sure that the button is in the off position before I forget to let you know. This side here has a fill line. You want to fill the reservoir up to that fill line and then we're gonna turn this ice machine on. It's gonna start making ice. The ice is gonna come out the chute, hopefully into this bucket here. You want to keep this reservoir full while it's making the ice. You want to use the full one gallon of ice machine cleaner. Once you have the ice machine cleaner inside the ice machine, you're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes. Once 15 minutes is up, you're gonna start it up and then make the ice. And you'll see that next. Remove these components. Put them in a five gallon bucket mixed with ice machine cleaner to descale it and then wash it with a cloth. While you're doing that for 15 minutes, this will be soaking. When you sanitize and clean the ice bin during these ice machine cleanings, shut the circuit breaker off so the auger inside this ice bin doesn't turn on for its one time to mix the ice and it rips your arm off. It can rip your arm off. I had to jump out the bin switch here and you have to leave this bin switch connected in order for this machine to run. Makes sense, right? Yes. So now I'm gonna turn the power on. Auger turned on, machine turned on. It is now going to make ice. Remember, keep this reservoir filled as it makes ice. When you do this trick right here, I strongly recommend you take a piece of cardboard and make a little shoot so the ice doesn't like accidentally miss bounce out and go back there. Because as much as it's not, it doesn't seem to be a problem, when that ice melts, it is going to drip down into the ice bin. So try and capture everything that you can. Again, this little piece of cardboard into the pan will work great for you. If this ever runs out of water, this little sensor here will break the circuit and your ice machine will stop making ice, much like it just did to me. So I didn't keep up on it like I should have. So I filled it back up. Now I have to sit here and wait for that timer. Once that timer ends, the machine will start back up and then I'll finish the rest of my gallon. All right, 
So once you're done with the gallon, go ahead and dump out the remaining of the solution. And you want to rinse this out. So we're just going to rinse this out. Because we're going to sanitize as well. And the sanitizer will react with the coil cleaner or the uh, evaporator cleaner. We don't want that reaction. Fill this back up. Water. Turn this back on. We're gonna let this cycle through this get all the, the rest of the cleaner out and then we're going to sanitize it. When my company does this, they're going to leave all of this attached because we're going to melt all the ice inside the ice bin. Shut the breaker off to the ice bin specifically and clean and sanitize the inside of the ice bin as well. Once the ice machine shuts off, I'm going to drain the remainder of the water clean this, and then we're going to fill it up with sanitizer and run sanitizer through it. On older gem machines, you're going to have to take this cap off. It is reverse thread. So backwards or clockwise is off, counterclockwise is on. Remember, reverse thread, it goes backwards. If there is an easier way to do this, please let me know. So again, it looks like I'm tightening it, but it's reverse thread. It goes backwards. I'm unscrewing this. Is a bearing inside here with white grease. Pop this guy up. This is food grade grease. <clears throat> and on these newer bearings inside here is a sealed bearing. You can't grease it. On older systems, you're going to use a food grade white grease. Uh, our supplier, Young Supply, sells food grade white grease. You don't want an injector needle. Uh, we get these from auto parts stores. You're going to use the grease gun. And you're going to literally stick this needle into each ball bearing inside the bearing. Again, this one's newer, so I can't show you today. But I would take this top off, stick the needle in, and pump grease into this bearing. When you put this on, be very careful you don't cross thread. This is backwards, this is reverse thread. I can't say that enough. So we mixed three ounces to one gallon of sanitizer solution into water. I just fill this reservoir up, turn this on. Same thing as a cleaner. You run one gallon through this, and then you'd be all set. Okay. All right, there goes the sanitizer solution. Keep it filled up. Once the sanitizer solution is done running through the system, go ahead and drain out the remainder. Put the pump back on. I'm going to turn the water back on the system. Turn it on. Let this run for about 30 seconds. 
make ice for about 30 seconds, shut it off, put it all back together again. Now the secret sauce, food grade silicone grease. There's an O-ring here. When this oozes this grease and it dries out, water will get past it and start dripping down the side of this and it starts rusting everything out. So I will use this refrigeration technology, silicone grease. Talk to your local suppliers. I'll just put a little bit on this O-ring. So it keeps it from drying out, stays lubed. And it helps prevent water from running down when we put this cover back on. This filter is fairly clean, but during 9 p.m., clean these filters. This side goes, faces in, this side faces out. All right, if you made it this far, congratulations. You just made me zero dollars but you made you lots of money, right? Okay, this is just a quick rundown as a reminder. Shut the water off. Check the water filter. Water filter should be replaced every six months. Ice machine should be cleaned every six months. Do them both at the same time. Mix three ounces of nickel safe ice machine cleaner in one gallon of water. Put or drain this water out Fill this reservoir up with that water that you just mixed. Let it sit for 15 minutes. Remove these components. Put them in a five gallon bucket mixed with ice machine cleaner to descale it and then wash it with a cloth. While you're doing that for 15 minutes, this will be soaking. Rinse those components, put them back in place. While you have this top off and you have this cap off, if you have a bearing that needs grease, grease it. You don't want the white grease starting to turn gray. That means it's been in there too long. It definitely needs to be wiped out with paper towel or, green or a rag or something. Get an injector needle, white food safe grease, inject the bearing again. On these newer systems, the bearing is sealed. On the newer breakers that come with the bearings in them, those are also sealed, so you don't have to grease those. Once you finish pouring the whole gallon through this, rinse it. Then add sanitizing solution. One gallon of sanitizing solution gets ran through this with three, one gallon of water with three ounces of sanitizing solution gets ran through this. Once that is done, drain it, fill it back up by turning the water back on. Let it run for another 30 seconds to a minute to get the rest of that out. Then you should be all set. Don't forget silicone grease if you have it. It does help prevent water from running down the side of this unit. And if you have one of these uh, thin stats and you need it to, use alligator clips to jump that out. These sensors have to be in place for the ice machine to run. Special thanks to my videographer, Dane. Yeah, put me in the credits. Don't forget to turn the ice machine back on before you leave. Will the side shoot first while I'm thinking about it? I'm gonna pull the hose off. I'm gonna pull this guy. Pull this guy up. Now you have, um, I think they're infrared eyes, but they're essentially a sensor that beams across to another sensor that's behind this. And that is a variation of one of their bin switches. So once the beam is broken by ice for a certain amount of time, it shuts the ice machine off. So once this fills up with ice high enough it breaks the beam between these two sensors. Ice machine will then turn off. So 
you have a front sensor and a back sensor. This has two prongs, this has three prongs. These do slide out for cleaning purposes. So if you start getting gunk inside here, you use a soft cloth and clean that eye out. I'll have a separate solution, um, a ice, uh, ice cleaning solution. I'm going to wash this with so we can get the buildup off of this as well.